Yes, so it's very unusual. Uh, you know, the UK stands out uh, with respect to charges. And there's three issues. One is the minority end up paying for the majority. So, so a lot of people get free banking, but a lot of people pay hefty charges. Secondly, you have the issue that uh, I think mis-selling can occur where banks are trying to cover their, their costs elsewhere, although the FCA are Focus very much on that now, making sure that the banks treat customers fairly. And lastly, of course, we've got transparency. Bank, banks aren't trusted by their customers, and one of the reasons is they're, they're very unclear customers about why they're getting charged and for what. So we think the survey we've done indicates that this is, is potentially going to change. Yeah, 50% said if, uh, if, if you charge me, I'm going to move my bank account. But the reality of it is, is banks do need to cover their costs. And we think a mechanism where there's transparency so that, you know, if you go to an ATM, then you get charged for it potentially will be something that will slowly get introduced. You might get, say, 20 usage, usages of an ATM a month, but then the bank might say, well, if you use it more than that, we're going to have to pay. Of course, no one's going to say, right, we're going to, we're going to charge because they'd lose 50% of their customers. So I think we'll see a slow erosion of the of free banking uh, people will start to the banks will start to introduce more and more charges for more and more things and they'll leave a small very basic service that remains free